O sacred Lord of ancient Israel, who showed yourself to Moses in the burning bush, who gave him the holy law on Sinai mountain, come, stretch out your mighty hand to set us free. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today on December 18th, I offer you this reflection video, realizing I don't normally record reflections for Sundays. We have the place of the Sunday homily for that. But since we're tra tracking each of the O antiphons, I wanted to offer a brief reflection nonetheless on today's O antiphon, O Adonai. As we hear the reference in what I just proclaimed, sacred Lord of ancient Israel who showed yourself to Moses in the burning bush, it calls to mind to us that the, the name Adonai, Lord, Lord God, was used by the people of Israel because the, the, the name of God himself was so sacred and unutterable that they had to use other references to him. In fact, on the, on, only on the Day of Atonement, the day that the, the Jewish people now celebrate, celebrate as Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement was the one day the high priest would enter into the Holy of Holies and dare to utter the name of God himself. And so this has always been out of hush, out of respect to the Jewish people, that that name is not uh, thrown around lightly. Uh, but even in the scriptures, we refer to him as the Lord or as God, the Lord God. And this calls to mind what happened in the burning bush with Moses. When God speaks to him and sends Moses back to his people, and Moses asks, when they ask me, who am I to say, who, who sends me? What is your name? Essentially is what he, what he says to the voice. What is your name? And God's response is, I am who I am. He doesn't give him a name. I am who I am. I am who I am. How does God, the almighty God who encompasses all things, how do you contain him in a name? No. He's not a name or an entity to be contained or grasped in this way. He simply is, I am who I am. I am God. And so, the beautiful mystery of this O Antiphon as it helps us to anticipate the coming of Christ is not just God's revelation on Sinai to his people, but the realization that in the coming of Christ, the, the God that so, so distant, transcendent beyond our grasp, shows us his face as his word takes flesh. Christ in the flesh comes to us, God in human flesh reveals himself to us. The distant one becomes so intimately close. What a powerful gift we anticipate and pray for as we wait for Christmas. May God bless you all.